So it seems like a good idea to try and get rid of it. And the way you get rid of it is by using the system dynamic linker instead. And how does that work? Well, you have to build all of your Haskell code as dynamically linkable Haskell code. And then it can be linked into the, into the running binary. For GACI, right? Um, so uh, some other reasons why, why I didn't want to get rid of the link. Well, OSX keeps changing its, its linker format, so it was quite hard to keep track of that, and we don't really have all the features implemented. So some things didn't work properly. Uh, some other features of, of C++ in particular are not implemented by our runtime maker, so that makes some things not work. Um, so it, it meant that if you were using Excel libraries for the C++ button, you see that didn't always work. Okay, um, so then what happened? We decided to take this decision, and uh, what happened? Well, we realized that, first of all, you've got to build things a different way for dynamic <coughs> because the way that you call functions changes, so we've got to build all our Haskell code, once we're static linking and once again for dynamic linking. Um, so this means Cabal is going to build stuff both ways, so that you've got packages available both for stuff linking, and so that you can use them in GACI. Um, and there were concerns about overhead, because dynamic linking is slightly slower than stuff linking. So we left the default as static linking. So when you build binaries on the command line, what you get is static linked stuff. Um, uh, but if you use GACI, then you need the dynamic linking. Um, so, uh, and this concern about how to build stuff twice led to this idea of having a dynamic two flag, so that you could compile a module, uh, and it would, most of the compilation pipeline would stay the same, except it would split at the end and, and generate both dynamic and both and the same object files. And the idea was to say, from the compilation. Um, and uh, <coughs> GCI can load compiled <coughs> code. So if you, if you compile some of the modules of your program, GCI is supposed to be able to load those up and use the compiled code rather than the interpreted code. But that's much more difficult than using dynamic linking because you can only load it using the system linker if you can link those object files together into a shared library and then you can load that. So uh, when you say loading compiled code, GACI now goes away and, and links a shared library and puts in the temp directly and loads it up. And that's okay. um, so what happened? Okay, so well, some, some good things that happened. Uh, some things now work in GACI. I'm slightly skeptical about the C++ stuff. I think it would probably still work if we had. Shared libraries. Um, so I'm not sure about that one. But anyway, we, we get GACI support on some platforms where we didn't have uh, we didn't have GACI support and they only have our own LVM back end because uh, we can now use the LVM back end and dynamic uh, and they get GACI support without having to write the support in the runtime market. Okay. Um, GACI starts up faster because the system link is quicker than our uh, And there's some weird things in the base package because if you don't use this system link, then um, GACI has its own base package and it also dynamically links another computer base package um, because of some, some state in the base package we have to make sure that it's, it's using the same computer state across both copies. So uh, there are some weird things that, that could go away. But then there's a bunch of fallouts as well. And, and some of these things we didn't predict before we, we started the project. So um, if you need template Haskell, that's using the interpreter. So then we have to automatically turn on the dynamic two flag so it builds so it builds dynamic object files that the compiler can then link in and use to run the template has well. So then you automatically get slower compilation of the template two flags. Uh, we couldn't get it working on Windows because <coughs> Windows has this crazy limitation on the number of symbols you can have in a dynamic object file. <laughs> it's limited to sixty-four thousand. It doesn't fail if you exceed that limit. It just wraps around. <laughs> <laughs> longer in set than it used to, it's not because the compiler slows it, it's because it's building dynamic versions as well. 
And on dynamic two, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't push dynamic two to as far down the pipeline as we wanted to. Some of the, uh, some of the, the phases of the pipeline have some tiny dependency on the level of dynamic and all that, so we have to push that back, and that's why dynamic two isn't quite as fast as it should be. Uh, we had a nice optimization in, in dynamic linking where uh, it, it, intro package calls could go fast in thought. Turns out that doesn't work. And uh, with GACL, it's an important technical reason. I don't have time to talk about. And there's some other bugs which we haven't fixed yet. So the question, the question, and I think this is <coughs> open at this point, is whether we press on and try and fix the bugs, or whether we reset the boards and, and try and fix the other ones. Well, let me show you. Um, yes. So this is the list of bugs that prompted us to do this in the first place. These are all the bugs in the old link. <coughs> and you can see that many of these have now been fixed. So the situation is better than it was when we started. So about half of those bugs have been fixed since we started. Uh, so many of the problems mm -hmm. that we used to have with the old link now don't exist. Uh, I should say. Thank you very much.